hello 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 my queens welcome and welcome back to my channel i am kanisha with currency queen budgets in this video i will be cash stuffing 291 dollars if that is something that you're interested in stay tuned I'm Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgets. I am a zero-based cash budgeter. I do all things budget, DIYs, and so much more. Um, but we will get into this cash stuffing and we will talk about some stuff while we are cash stuffing. Oh, and I had somebody to inbox me on Instagram and they asked what my, my tray said. So this side just says Currency Queen um if you guys can see that and then this side just says kanisha that's what that, that says so um i was just bored one day and just got to doing stuff you know i'm always trying to craft um stuff and try new things so when i'm bored that's what i do um so let's get into this cash stuffing let me get my money and this bag can be found on my Etsy store. Etsy store. I don't know what a store is, but I'm talking like my nephew. Um, that's, that's what I get from mailing him all the time. Um, well, let's get this money counted. <laughs> 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, to 10, 20, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, and 91. All right, how's everybody been doing? How's everything going for everybody? How is the weather? It has been feeling great here in Arkansas. The weather has been exceptionally nice. I hope everybody is having a great week and we'll have a, um, or had a great week and we'll have a great weekend as well. I'm grabbing the wrong binder. I'm going to start in my bills binder first. Um, so for my bills binder, the only thing that I am stuffing is my um, utilities and you know what I am not going to put that $50 in there because I just realized that my um, I have a bill that's due tomorrow so I am going to put that in another place so I carry around this planner everywhere I go this is my A5 planner. So I will put that fifty dollars in here. Oh, and let me show you guys what I've been work, what I um been using too before I get started on that. Um, this tracker. It's an IOU tracker. Um, I did this because. I almost, I thought I was going to have to pull some money out of one of my envelopes to use it somewhere else. No, I actually did um, pull money out of my groceries to put, to use for my, um, what was it? What did I pay? I think it was from household i don't remember it was two weeks ago i don't remember what what i had to do but um and i i was like if i didn't remember i had to i wrote it down somewhere so i could remember but i came home that night and i actually made a, a iou tracker so this is just you put the month up here the date i owe let's say groceries five dollars from household and then I put right here if I paid it, yes or no. So you have um, space for that. This will be on my Etsy store as well. It'll be on um, Currency Queen Budgets um, 
on Etsy. And then this one is a, a B-O-I-O-U. Now, so what I've been doing, I've been using my credit cards to pay for everything and then I'll just pull the money out. Um, once I use it, I'll pull the money out, just say I went to the store and I spent $100 on groceries. I will swipe that credit card just so I am getting my rewards points because I'm trying to um, build those up right now. And then I will go back and I will take the $100 out of my actual bill envelope, actually out of my grocery envelope, and then I will go pay that. So I was doing it so much, y'all, and I was forgetting what I was paying and what I didn't pay back. So I just made this and then I just put the date, the creditor, whichever card I use, the amount I charged and then the amount I actually paid and then if I had a leftover balance just in case I bought something and I didn't pay it all back I put it there and then um I put paid yes or no if I went ahead and paid it once I deposited it so that's been kind of helping me out and this will also be on my Etsy store as well so I'm going to get that put back in here. And then I will also put um I will also put the 50 for my utilities in here because I am going to take that to the bank and deposit that so I can pay that um that gas bill. I just realized I did not pay that. Um, so that is that. I know I'm taking up a lot of time right now, rambling. So let's get on to it. And I'm not sure if you guys watched one of my last videos. I'm not sure which one it was on. I explained that I had um, a new binder for my very big expenses i have retired my mo term for now i know it won't be long because i can hold more stuff in that mo term than i can here um i did i got this for my birthday and i just took this frenchie off of my mo term and mo term and added it here um so let's get into this cash stuffing forward here um i did do a dashboard as you guys can see, um, girls just want to have fun. Isn't she cute? She's a beauty. All right. So, and oh, I did make some new cash envelopes. Y'all look. Aren't they cute? Okay. Enough of all that rambling because I'm just going on and on and on because I miss you guys. Oh, I had some money left in Christmas. So for groceries, I will be getting $100. Yes, ma'am. Well, my daughter knocked on the door. And I guess she decided to change her mind. She probably hear that I'm doing a video and changed her mind. So groceries, I'm going to do 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. 95 100 and then I have this 20 so I have $120 for groceries and I think I actually forgot I had that money in there which is the good thing about having these kind of envelopes because if I don't look in there I don't see that money there there so I'm like okay oh well we just have to make things work with what we have in the house Okay, so for gas, I would be doing 50, 20, and a 5, which is 75. I am so in love with my new envelopes. Y'all know I cannot keep the same envelopes for too long. I froze it just so y'all can get a better look. <laughs> I'm always switching them up and don't talk about me, y'all. Because, listen, I like to have things interesting. Um, $10 for spending. And 
And I kind of think I want to sell these LV um these LV envelopes. They're just cute to me. But I know I won't be selling them on Etsy. So um if you're interested in these, just send me a message on my Instagram, which is currency queen budgeting on Instagram. So just go over there, inbox me if you are interested in purchasing these um these Louis Vuitton envelopes. For household, I will do 10. And oh, you don't have to just go over there just to purchase the envelopes. Just go over there and, and hit that follow button and like a couple of my pictures on there. I need to get my followers up on there as well as get my subscribers up for um for YouTube. I My goal was to have like my thousand by September. So guys, if you are watching, y'all haven't hit that button yet, please, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button so I can uh, reach my goal. Uh, for medication, it is getting five and we still have money in medication. Let's see, we have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we have $20 in medication. No one has been sick around my house, which I thank God for that. And then I have my, y'all know I keep my $2 bill with me. Oh, and then I did another dashboard too um, as well. Everything's come to me at the right place, the right time. Y'all, I read that all wrong and I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it and read it wrong. Everything comes to me at the right time, place, and sequence. And I think she was just cute for um, that dashboard. And I'm thinking that I really want to start selling these dashboards. I really, really like um, like doing these. And then here is my beauty envelope. And then here is my lunch money. I don't know what's that snapping. Maybe because I'm holding it up. And then here's eating out. And then my $1 bills. Matter of fact, do I have anything to pull out? No, I pulled them out last video. So that is all for my variable expenses. Next, I will be doing my sinking funds. My sinking funds. Um, Everything is not getting stuffed in this video. So we are going to skip YouTube fam, and I did go back and make me some um, make me some trackers. Let me pull this one out. You know what? I can just pull it out on Family Fun so I can show you guys. Cause y'all know I love my Louis Vuitton, my LV. I love it. Um, so oh, uh, this is a sunflower. So not that one. So we are going to add five dollars here. Go and take that tracker out. I can make sure I actually complete that. Um, self care is getting five, and this is a Louis Vuitton one. See my Louis Vuitton tracker, isn't it cute? I like it, and I like it a lot. So, we're getting five dollars, and I'm going to lay this tracker to the side. Um, beauty is getting five. Guess I should unzip beauty and not the other one. Um, that is twenty that we already have in beauty, so we're adding a five. So that will leave us ten, twenty, and twenty-five in beauty. Clothing will be getting two dollars. So we have 10, 15, 16, and 17 dollars. And look, y'all, that's a cable. I'm taking that out. And I'm gonna owe that a dollar for um for clothing. Um, so vacation is getting two dollars as well.
So I have 10 in here and a one and a two. And there's another K book, y'all. What is going on here? I didn't even look through them. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it in here. And then when it's time for me to do a bill swap, I know where to go and get them K books out. Uh, for savings, we are going to do five. Did I put that two dollars in here? I did. I did. Okay, for savings, I'm going to do five dollars, and that will leave me with five, ten, and fifteen. And now, y'all, listen, don't call me slow, but I just found out what star notes are. Isn't that crazy? I've been seeing um, several channels talking about star notes. And I was like, what are star notes? What are they talking about? But I was watching D versus Dad the other day. I think it was D. Yeah, it was D. Um, and she kind of explained it real quick. And I was like, oh. Now I want to go and look through all of my bills to see if they are star notes. She pulled out a 20, y'all. She was like, oh, this is so bittersweet. <laughs> so I am definitely um, going to start looking for my star notes. I'm not going to do it now because I am paying off um, some other stuff. But like if I find my ones or my fives, I am definitely going to start saving those. Um, so thank you, D versus Debt. I was wondering what people was talking about on those star notes. And I want to do it. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 is what we have in car maintenance. And we are adding $4. If y'all are not subscribed to D versus Dead, y'all go ahead and go over there. Um, D has some great content over there. Go ahead and go support her. Okay, and then for taxes, I am going to be stuffing $5. 10, 20, 21, 22, and 22. where's my other five? What'd I do with that $5? I don't know what I did. Because I got $3 right here. Did I stuff too many dollars in somewhere? I'm probably going to have to go back and um through this video. Once I start editing, I will probably find it, but I'm not going to sit here and go through everything on this video. Um, so, I'm just going to add this $3 here and then go back and figure out what I did wrong maybe i grabbed two fives somewhere but then i still have three dollars i don't know i'll go back and check it out um so that is all for that is all for here and then i have my last 10 now, I promise, I, I just knock these down every single time I do a video. I'm not I'm not sure why I do that. Just knock them down. And this last 10 is going to Kanaya. And I need to start keeping up with hers. So, she has 10 20 30 $35. Dollars. And she haven't came back to the door yet. I need to go see what's up with her. I think that's why I'm kind of trying to rush through the video because she never like come knock on the door and not come in. But I know she just didn't come in because she heard me um, doing this video. So sorry I rushed through this video, guys. Um, but I am going to go and check on my daughter and see what was going on with her. Oh, look at my nails. I just want to say shouts out to my new nail tech. I've been going to her. I think this is my second set. No, this is my third time going to second time going to her um i've been knowing her for a long time and y'all know my nail tech went out of the country 
and I needed my nails done for my birthday and I actually called her up and she got me in and I think she will be my new girl go check her out she's on Instagram as Vanita Prospers I will actually link the um the name of her actual Instagram across the screen and y'all go over there and just hit that follow button support her a little bit check out her work I know y'all not around here in Arkansas but just go check out her work show a little support show a little support because y'all know I'm all about support I was intending to do um my BCLs um this month I mean this video I didn't get a chance to get in on the second round but I do go by and I subscribe and support and I was planning on you know subscribing to um no I was planning on not subscribing I was planning on um putting everybody's picture up but I actually forgot the list that I wrote down is in the other room but I will um link all of their names down in the description and you all can go by and hit that like and subscribe button watch their videos and support them however you may see fit however you can um bcl was something that was started by budgeting april if you have not subscribed to her channel go go ahead and go over there and check out her content as well she decided to um start this movement for the budgeting community so guys go go and check her out but i didn't make it to round two because i think when i was um watching that video that one particular video um i got a call about my dad and when they called me i just hurry up and commented on it to let her know that i watched it and you know i hit the like button so and i didn't go back and finish the video and at the end of that video i later on watched it um watched it later on and she had she did announce you know how to get into round two but it's okay i missed it but i am still going to support i think i'm still kind of late because i think they're in week four but it's okay it's okay just um go down to the description box and i am going to try to add their picture in here i'm not sure as far as editing how to do that but y'all do see their youtube picture pop up on the screen just know i figured it out if not i have to try to figure it out how to do that because i do want to do that in picture i think that's what it's called like an in picture um something I, I, I don't know i don't know how to do it but hopefully i can figure that out but guys i appreciate you guys that you're here with me uh, I am going to cut this video off so like I said to go see what's going on with my daughter and as you guys know I always want you to be blessed queenies bye